Hello and welcome to Crash Bandicoot, the game, the sequel, the stream, the sequel. That's Crash 2, part 2, of 2. I'm going to try to finish the game tonight. So let's see if, uh, let's see if we can pull that off. Go ahead and open this up. Where are you? There we go. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Hopefully that's a little more uh, appropriate volume level. Apparently did not save the level from the last time I played this game. Heck, I might have to turn it down even more than that. Alright, that should be good, I think. Yeah, it's a cool skip. Alright, so the previous time I played this game, and that's what I said, when you load the game, you get, you just get dropped right into a save file. In fact, here we are. See, I can just run around in a brand new save file. Don't, not, don't gotta do the introduction at all. Yeah, so last time I played the game, I got through the first three worlds in a 100% run. Oh, nope, don't want to save. Back. And I'm going to be picking up on that again, and hopefully, then the next two, two and a half hours, going to be cleaning out the rest of the game. Now, I finished three worlds last time, so with two left, it, sh it should be sure. It depends on how, uh, how difficult the levels prove themselves to be. Just a random hole over there. Can't access. Aww. That's a good start. And once again, this is a uh, Zelrog solo stream. I'm doing great. I'm planning to uh, finish this. I gotta get Jack to do Spyro 2. And then, probably after that, you can expect Crash 3 from me. I do have analog this time around, but it feels a little weird. I don't know if that's just because it's analog on a PS1 game, or if it's because it's the way that... Okay, he just came from nowhere. If it's the way that uh, EPSXE handles analog emulation... And I don't even know if I have the re most recent version. I don't think it's uh, auto-updating. I swear I'm good at this game, guys. I'm just... I'm gonna ignore them. I'm not gonna obey my bloodlust to kill every single enemy. And I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna avoid what I can. That seems like the pragmatic thing to do in a situation of continuous death. Still got some of the uh, harder levels remaining. We've got Engine and Cortex, the two hardest bosses in the game, which is not saying a whole lot given the difficulty of this game's bosses, but, uh, you know, they might take a little extra time. And I will be trying to move through this at a somewhat brisk pace. 
as fast as my uh, experienced crash skills will allow me. Now I know, I think it's this level or there's another sewer level at the end of this world that has a uh, secret exit in it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Tiki Mask. I think it's this one, but we'll, we'll see. And I'm pretty sure the secret exit is separate from uh, the rest of the level. It doesn't have boxes in it. At least I hope not. I might backtrack just to be safe. And if anyone uh, does show up in the chat, please let me know what the levels are like. Because I can't actually uh, have any immediate feedback without checking the stream page itself, and then you get the me talking over me effect. Okay, that was almost bad. Oh, this spot sucks. You know what? Takes longer, but it avoids a headache. These games have really unique soundtracks. Not so much the sewer level specifically, but uh, just in general, Crash games have very identifiable soundtracks with uh, a lot of pizzicato. Sucked to fall there. And, uh, I was a little more Australian in the first game, I'd say. But even so, it's got a good cartoony style without being a parody of cartoons. Or, like, a certain style of cartoons. Crash has a lot of, uh, character to the games. No, 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 Okay. Okay, there's that. And now. Just because I can. Oh, that was easy. I thought there was more. I thought there was another uh, eel there. Okay, so I got the gem, so I confirmed there are no boxes down here, but... If I can do this in one trip, I might as well. Avoid having to go through half the level again. This isn't annoying. This isn't tedious. Oh, there we go. Okay, made it. And secret. Ah, oh, they didn't even let me get all the fruit first. Totally fly. I actually thought that was a uh, different thing. What did I think it was? Like, I thought there was a gem on that path. Alright, you know what? We've done all of the other bear levels, so... It won't hurt to get this one out. Did I miss... No, there's still another uh, warp coming up. I'll get one of the uh, secret bonus levels out of the way. Level 26... 
weird total episode number or total uh, level number. Twenty-seven. Not that I guess it matters. I mean, Mario World had what, like ninety-eight? Fuck. So there's no obviously there are only twenty-five crystals. So these bonus levels, the only reason to do them is for the gems. So if you don't get all the boxes, there's really no point. Now this being the uh, expert super secret bear level. It is the only one that requires you to use the running mechanic. You cannot beat the level without it. Alright, there we go. Checkpoint. That's good. Uh-oh. That's not. It took me longer than I'd like to admit to figure out the running mechanic when I was younger. I think I thought that you had to, like, bounce on the crates. Like, see, let's see if I can do that. No, I don't think I can. Or at least on the first one. And it just took me a while to try all the buttons. I did it again. Lots of memorization. Okay. Do the oh, not enough. And I am frozen in land for the rest of time. did it again. I was too busy jumping, having too much fun. I always like the Crash Games sense of humor, though. It's nice when a game is able to uh, both play well and also have a lot of character to it. I did it. Yeah. And checkpoint. Okay, that's good. These guys are back. Still working for the uh, Icelandic Moving Company, and then I... Yeah. Still got me my cranberry ginger ale. Polishing that off. Okay. And checkpoint. At least they're generous with the checkpoints in this level. Like, they're surprisingly nice for a top secret level. boxes. Is that everything? It is. Okay, we're good. So there are 42 gems in total, I want to say. And we're going to, uh, I am going to finish the game without all the gems. Oh, it's just floating up there. Okay. You see that? I'm going to finish it without all the gems before the uh, gem ending. Because, uh, spoiler, once you have all the gems, you actually cannot do the final Cortex fight. You skip it completely. 
All right, on to digging it. Which has one secret gem area. And I think maybe also a secret exit. Or no, I'm thinking of, I think that's the second. I think that's the second digging level as the secret exit. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. He took too long to duck. Hope there wasn't a skull platform on this level. I don't even need to kill these guys. It's just, it's, it's fun. There's little point to these mines without a polar bear chasing you. And actually, if you don't get the belly flop just right, you can also die from that. So, I'm just gonna ignore that one. Ignore the tiki head. What a rather pointless enemy. It's not easy to die to that tiki head if you're uh, paying attention. There we go. We got timed electric walls now. Nope! There's one down. Abuse the invincibility. on through. Maybe I should have done the bonus before that, huh? Ah, doesn't matter. I think the bonus remembers once you finished it, whether you got a checkpoint or not. I am having a little bit of slowdown, but you know what? This computer is still running things on the PlayStation better than it ran N64. And there was a skull platform. Okay. Hopefully there weren't any boxes on the skull platform. And bees. There are bees. Well, B. Singular. This is a very, uh, reproduction-focused hive. They've only got one of the, of the worker bees on a defense. The rest are all dedicated to servicing the queen. And cheese. Nope, can't get me down here. But I can get you. Even the for even for the cartoony like style of the game, I always thought this was a very strange look for digging. Like oh, it just looks like he's under a carpet. I don't know, something about it doesn't fit in with the rest of the style of the game, it feels to me. There's the exit of the skull platform. Oh, okay. No, the secret exit is on this level. Wow, there's a lot of stuff on this level. Get out of here, B. Get out of here, hammer man. And 
Oh, there were boxes on the skull platform. Great. Gotta do all that again. So that was a bit of a wasted run. Oh dear, they're receiving communications. Of the tricky what? Ah, oh, well, I'm sure it's not important. I got gems to get. So, no dying this time, no dying allowed. And I know there are, at the very least, I know how many boxes are on the skull platform. So I need to make it through the normal path and then backtrack to the skull, it's looking like. Or I could backtrack on the skull path, but that sounds like it would be more difficult. Since skull paths usually are. And I want to save my tiki head, if at all possible. Yeah, there are a couple of, uh, there are a couple of dick levels in the later game, in the late part of the game that make you backtrack where you really don't want to be backtracking. Move on past him. Past them. Do this again. At least they didn't include a uh, bonus that requires you to do all that uh, bouncing like the previous bonus in a level that has one of those uh, dick backtracking sections. Why do I climb over the top? Because I can. And 22. Okay. Moving on. It's also nice that uh, Crash and Spyro had a more friendly rivalry. Pro mostly because they were on the same console, I would imagine. Alright, the skull platform should stick around now that I've ridden it once. So I'm going to try going down this path first. And you can counteract the bees by just killing them, obviously, so they're not the end of the world trying to go backwards, as long as you've got good timing. I'm going to get those out of the way now, though. This is going to suck to go backwards on, though. Not going to be fun. In fact, I'm going to clear this part of the path first and then get the checkpoint. I don't know why I'm even bothering with these anymore. I what, 90? Yeah, full max lives. I cannot get any more lives. The uh, spin button is actually what puts you underground, so I actually cannot spin on that kind of terrain without digging. And that's the end of the path. Okay, so back we go. B. Let's fuck bees. Oh, that one got me. That was... Okay, that's earlier than I would have liked to lose the mask. Or a stage of the mask. And there we 
we go to the checkpoint. That was close. Okay, made it. We're good. Going back. No, 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 no. That was also close. Pits are the worst thing trying to backtrack a level. Obviously. Anything insta-death is pretty bad. Okay. See, the thing is, I don't even know if that was the way you're intended to do it. Or if they did want you to uh, backtrack the skull path. Which I have done before. Used to, uh, carefully platform backwards through all those nitros. So that's two boxes. Okay, get out of here. Oh yeah, you'd have to do the entire path. And those aren't some uh, pleasant looking jumps to take backwards. At least there's only a 1B per hive. But Zelrog, there's always 1B per hive, you'd say. Oh, well, just wait till the next, wait till later. Yeah, that would have been pretty awful to go backwards on. Dick move putting crates on the path, though. It's a little mean. Still, not nearly as bad as Cortex power, though. So maybe... Maybe I can go to the end of this and get the gem. And come back to the secret warp. Maybe we can do that. Probably not the safest way to do this. But it would be the quickest time-wise. Out of here. Oh, no! Okay. That actually saved me from a seed. Get out of here. Okay. Alright, gem acquired. Backtrack commencing. And first pit I fall into. No? There it is. No, go away, B. They have a very specific territory. Only the area in front of them, not the area not an equal area behind them. And no, you cannot destroy the beehive if anyone was curious. For the whole uh, ten of you who have not played this game ever. I'm exaggerating that. I'm sure there are plenty of people who haven't played Crash Bandicoot. I mean, I never played Banjo-Kazooie, and that's a travesty to some people. Oh, a whole 5%. Alright, and now we can finish Road to Ruin from the previous world. So I say I finished three worlds in the previous stream. There are some levels that had to be skipped because of missing gems and things. So, uh... Even after all this, there still may be some backtracking yet to do. But you don't want to spin all the crates. They're, uh, they're sneaky like that. They'll punish you for not thinking about what you're doing. And now we're at the start of the level. Take me home! 
I'm ready to go, Cortex. Oh, there's the creepy opera dude. Now, I remember, even after everything, I still missed boxes on this level a lot, so I'm gonna have to be real careful. I think last time we took the skull platform and I paid attention if there were any boxes on it, and there weren't, so we shouldn't have to worry about that, at least. I hope. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for uh, sneaky off-screen boxes, which they do like to do. Oh, do they like to do that. Nope, can't jump. No! Oh, it's okay. I don't need the skull platform. Dying is okay. It's just a part of the extra life process. Of course, now I am minus my tiki mask. see something over there? No, it's just background objects. Which are close enough to jump to, but you still cannot platform on them. I see stuff over there, but I'm pretty sure that's the end of the gem platform. Or the skull platform, rather. bonus, which I skipped last time. It is a cool seamless kind of thing. Hello? There we go. The, the bonus is included right there in the level. Oh, this one. This is the platforming equivalent of a fetch quest in an RPG. Alright, I'm back. Can you give me the sword already? There we go. Okay. Got boxes. There haven't been any Crash RPGs, have there? Despite Crash changing ownership from company to company so much, they have thankfully been uh, pretty tame with not throwing him into every genre. Like, there were Sonic RPGs, there were Sonic Chronicles and such, which were reportedly pretty bad, but there are people who say that about every Sonic game. Mario, for the most part, he's been in every genre, but generally, they're pretty good about the quality of the games, even the off-genre ones. Like, Paper Mario were fantastic. Super Mario RPG, I haven't been as big on, but it has a big fan base. People love the game. Oh, okay, I did get all... Thank God I got all the boxes. I did not want to do that again. What else were there? Obviously, Mario sports games have been big. Mario Kart, arguably, also kind of a sports game. Similar genre. Spin-offs. Super Smash Brothers, fighting games. Good stuff. Crash Bash. I love to death, as I've mentioned on stream before. Some people hate it. Some people can't stand Crash Bash. And to be fair, it is an enormous pain to 100%. I've never totally, completely 100%ed it. Because the relics are just awful. But, that was also the case in Crash 3, so... And, to some extent... Okay, Crash Team Racing I don't think was that bad, but... It also had relic shenanigans that could be a pain to collect all of. Because relics... In Cra Crash 2 introduced crystals as the objective of every level. Crash 1, you were just trying to get through the level. That was it. 
And gems have always been around for getting all the boxes, mostly. They're the uh, extra collectibles of the Crash games. And Crash 3 introduced the relics, which are time trial prizes. And that's what they've always been. In every Crash game, they're related somehow to uh, doing something within a certain time. Crash 3 was time trials. You had to get through the level within a certain speed run. But it wasn't just beat the time and you get it. There was a uh, there were stages of relics. There was the base sapphire relic, sil uh, silver relic, and gold relic. I think. So those three stages, and even beyond that, a secret platinum relic for getting like a super like beat the staff time or something, something along those lines. So if you want to get every Platinum Relic, you're going to be do at it for a while. In any Crash game involving Relics, not just Crash Bash. Crash Bash actually, because of the nature of the game, it was mini-games. I rem this, this has a dick box, this bonus. I remember that. Because Crash Bash was a uh, mini-game game. Like Mario Party. You see that up there? You see it hiding? That's a that's a cool box. Come to the end of the level and be one box short for several playthroughs and have no idea where it is. Love those boxes. Yeah, Crash Bash Relics were not about time, but about beating the high level AI at a mini game multiple times in a row, like without losing once. I think you needed two wins for the plat for the Sapphire Relic, three wins for Gold, four for Platinum. I think that's how it went. And I've gotten a couple Platinum Relics in the games in Crash Bash that I'm better at than others, but... Oh, I never 100%ed Crash Bash. That is a lofty, lofty goal. And if anyone anyone watching this has done it, then I salute you. You have far more time and patience than I have or had. Okay, that's gonna go nowhere. Do I want to take the skull platform? Are there more boxes down there? I, I don't know. I'm going to guess the skull platform features no boxes, but that's still a guess. Or... Oh... I might have to backtrack the skull in this one. I, yeah, I do. This is the... This... I don't want to say is the hardest gem for all boxes in the game. It's either the hardest or the second hardest. I'm gonna say the second hardest. Because there's a really... A, there's a really nasty backtracking one in the final world. Even after you've stopped, you retain some momentum. You have to stop for a length of time. Oh, this is good. This is convenient. Oh, this will make backtracking easier. But, I can't get the gem. I'm gonna have to come back for it. I went through all the trouble for the boxes. I don't want to risk trying to, like, slide into that gem and do something fancy. Because then I'll have to go through all this again. And I'd rather go through it again frontwards than frontwards and backwards. Yeah, this sneaky beaver. Here we go. Here we are. Oh, what a mean thing for them to do. Devs get mean at the end of the game here. Which, it's not unfair difficulty. It is, like, genuinely difficult. It's not fake difficult to, like, you know, backtrack through the levels. It takes skill, not luck or tedium.
but oh, it's just something that's so devious you would never expect them to actually expect you to do it. Maybe that's just the that that's just the expectations of someone spoiled on Mario difficulty though. And even Spyro. The difficulty was just about, you know, hunting down gems and collecting them all. Not usually about, uh, you know, being able to have the coordination to perform a challenge or something. There were a couple of spots like that in Spyro games, but most of the completion was uh, just collecting. Speaking of collecting, that was another thing that kind of has me not so into Banjo-Kazooie, is that other games have, uh, other, like, mascot platformers and such have set movesets, and they're per pretty limited movesets, too. You usually only have, like, two, maybe three moves at your disposal. And then challenges are built around how you can use those moves. Whereas Banjo, you're always getting new moves to learn and perform in different ways and everything. And it's just, it felt like an overload to me. I didn't want to keep track of that many controls and movements. Especially since old movements seemed like they'd get forgotten about once the new one came about. And you had a new challenge to work with. Again, that's just my bias speaking, though. So, Banjo fans, don't hate me. Please. Oh, okay, how did I not lose a mask on that? I feel like there's even more dick boxes. I'm gonna be extra certain. Did I still come up short? Let's see. Oh, thank God. Oh, this level's done. Okay. Still have to go back for that other gem, but that's okay. The box's gem is taken care of. The, the pain is over. Also, I don't know if you guys have been watching your weather, but it's really hot in Battleground right now. We've got an excessive heat warning. So it's been pretty uh, pretty bad these last couple days. Oh, this is a good way to start. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Just have to not fuck it up. Jump into a hole. Any of that goodness. And instant end. Okay, just gotta not die. I can do that. I'm good at not dying, right? That's a skill that I've proven time and again to have on this stream. Playing it safe. Safe! I did it. I'm a hero. And end. Ah, oh, that sucks. Can't take invincibility with you to another area. Alright. See, now I can just speed run this. Easy as pie. Don't even gotta worry about boxes. Fuck everything! Okay, I do have to slow down for those. Stupid icicles. Oh, slow down, please. Slow down killed me. No! Okay, I got it. I was actually worried that uh, I had fallen down without collecting the gem, and that would that would have been bad. Okay. Oh, the slowdown. What is going on? Too much on the screen. 
my poor PSX processor that's on this legitimate PSX that I'm playing. PS1. When did it start getting called PSX? It was when the PS1 came out, right? Because there were multiple, uh... They were all just the PlayStation. But there were multiple, uh, builds of it. There was the original big square gray... PlayStation. At launch. And then later they came up with a more compact little version. It was still a PlayStation 1. They called it... I mean, they it still just played PlayStation 1 games. PS2 wasn't out yet. And they called it the PlayStation 1. O-N-E. So, I think it was the, uh... OG PlayStation, the big square gray one that started being called PSX. And they did the same thing with uh, PlayStation 2. And 3, actually. They came out with... I guess they rushed out you know, the design that they had at launch. And then they kept working on a more compact design that came out later. Does this look familiar? Well, it should. This level has a lot of the same layouts, rooms, and boxes as the as the previous Ruin level. But now with Nitros to trick you. It's like a... Like a Dark World from Zelda or something. An evil mirror room. Yeah, the PS2 started with the, uh, you know, the bigger version. And then they came out with the PS2 Slim. Which, I think I actually preferred the bigger one. Even though it had the very strange function of having the power button in the back of the system. Why? I don't know why they did that. Now, I know these are nitros. So logically, I should not activate them. But, I have to activate them. Because if I don't, when I hit the nitro switch at the end of the level, they won't blow up because they're not actually there. And nitros count towards the total crates in a level. You actually have to blow up all the nitros. Okay. I think this is another dick level. I think that gem platform probably has boxes on it. I'm gonna go ahead here first. Because this definitely has boxes on it. And I guess I could either complete the level and check if the gem platform had boxes that way, or if this path is tame enough, I could attempt to backtrack it. And the PS3, I think, had the least change in designs. And that they did come out with... They had the original version, and then they came out with a uh, somewhat smaller, thinner version later on. And I think I have the later version of the PS3. I also have the PS2 Slim. Not for lack of trying, I had a P the original PS2 for the longest time. And I think I still have it in a drawer. It's non-functional, the uh, laser, or like the... Either the disc reader or the disc tray broke. And I actually tried to look into getting it fixed, but that didn't happen, so... Uh, I eventually had to settle and get a PS2 Slim. because of these fire guys. Okay, well, I guess it's on to the end of the level. Another thing I didn't know when I first played this game, I didn't know that these guys were vulnerable to sliding. So I thought the only way to get rid of them was to time it so that they'd get blown up by the, the dynamite in this level. That was the only way I ever killed them.
I think it wasn't until there were similar enemies in a uh, later level that I figured out they were slidable. I don't know, they just look kind of, they look spiky all over, like you just didn't want anything to do with them. And get rid of the nitros without dying, please, lady. And we're good. Yeah, happy little mask. This can still fu- okay, good. I destroy the logs. And I get the gem. Okay, sweet. So, just gotta get the gem platform now. Yeah, I was worried that uh, having the mask and hitting the log would bounce on the log, which could, uh, you know, fuck up my platforming, and that'd be bad. But that was not the case. They, The game designers were nicer than that. So, back we go. Grab the uh, gem platform. I'm glad I'm having really good luck with the uh, with the box gems. I'm not running into those scenarios that I so often run into playing this game, where I get to the end of the level and I'm missing just one from somewhere and I don't know where it was. I mean that happened maybe once or twice this stream, but usually it happens quite a bit more. Maybe this is just finally the playthrough where I know the game well enough that it's just not happening, because I remember all the bullshit ones specifically. I pointed them out on several occasions now. Hello, Mask. Oh, but I gotta keep the, ma keep the Mask for the gem platform. Damn it. Rip Magilla? Uh-oh, that's fire. Also fire. I made it. I'm good. Okay. They had terrible timing. Oh, that's logs. You ever wanted to play 3D Donkey Kong? Now's your chance. And now I get to do it without any masks. Fun. You know what's weird? Crash looked best in low def. Like... Some of the later games did a pretty decent job of capturing his uh, goofy design. But none of them were ever quite so perfect as this PS1 version. With its countable polygons. And that's weird. It's like the low def actually did him uh, favors. In his goofy appearance. Because it's not just pure goof. There's a certain... There's a certain element to it that you just get on the PS1 versions. And I'm probably hurting myself by talking. Because I need to listen for the log bounces. Stereo sound, actually a, a kind of critical gameplay element. I don't know, I guess they just never quite got the expressions in later games that they did on the PS1. And I'm dead. I knew it as soon as I jumped. I think the eyebrows got a little smaller in later designs, too. Crash is a lot more uh, slack-jawed at times in, the, in these games than in later ones. Like, you can, you especially notice it during the death animations, like the angel that floats up. He doesn't necessarily look sad or angry. He's just kind of confused, like he doesn't know where he is or what's going on. Okay. Made it! Oh, you fucker! 
You stupid monkey! It's okay, find your centers, Elrond. a little more expediently. Where am I? What happened? I hesitated a little bit there. No! Stupid! The slowdown. Fucked me. You saw it. You all saw it. No. No more logs. I will not allow it. Good timing. There we go. Safety jumps, I say, and then die from uh, not jumping far enough. What have I, got? What have I, got? I should just stop talking. Maybe that's the plan. And uh, I even got a pity mask. And lost it immediately. You seem to be sucking. Have this. Oh, it didn't matter. Timing? At least I can deal with those guys consistently. Oh, that was my fault. Not like those other times that were totally not my fault at all, and entirely the game's fault. Okay, the slowdown one, unironically, was bullshit, but... Nope, lost my pity mask again. Just waltz on through those guys. Oh, this slowdown is bad. What's going on, computer? I know you can't run, like, Planet Coaster, but Crash Bandicoot? Really? I assume it can't run Planet Coaster. I don't actually have Planet Coaster to try it because it is in demand. And thus, it never goes on sale for less than $45. Unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon World, the $60 game that was recently on Steam sale for $5. You can tell how high demand for that is. I considered getting it just for the sake of trying it out, which I think I've said this on stream before, Roller Coaster Tycoon World, but, like, I could handle if it was just a bad game and didn't have all the features that Planet Coaster had, and lost out the, you know, lost the competition because of that, but apparently it doesn't even run. Like, a lot of people are experiencing crashes and bugs and glitches and stuff like that, so... And it's not a low re resource program either, so any of that's true, there's no chance my computer's running it. Ukulele is uh, on my list when I get around to that. So that someone who has never played Banjo Kazooie to any significant degree can go in unbiased to such a game. Hey, maybe I should play No Man's Sky, too. I didn't follow the hype on that. I didn't even know it existed until it was out. Nah. Behave! Ukulele, I do think people are giving, are giving way too hard a time. I think they set their expectations the wrong way for that game. The hype killed it. But No Man's Sky, I can believe that uh, 
the game is as bad as people say it is. I can believe that there's not a lot of substance there. And now we have multi beehives. Don't try to spin those away, they'll fuck you. I think you can do it if you're uh, frame perfect, or close to frame perfect. But better to avoid the risk. Uh oh. And okay, well, at least all the bees fried as well. You can squeeze through there while underground, but it's less risky to not do that. Part of me feels like I should be dying more to show off all the death animations, of which there are plenty in this game. But I'm too good for that, so you're just gonna have to go watch another streamer. Go watch a wannabe speedrunner fuck up. That'll be more fun. Not claiming that I'm a better player than a wannabe speedrunner. Much less a successful speedrunner. I just have no illusions about being a speedrunner. Is the thing. You see those? Do you notice anything different about them? Listen closely. You don't, uh, you don't hear any nitro noises. You don't see any bouncing, do you? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So sneaky that I'm not even going to bother with their sneak level. That was actually a legit ac accident. There's one area, one like bonus area, one 2D side scrolling spot that you do drop off to the left and find something. But I think I might have done that. I think that might have been the first one of the game, and I already did that, so. I honestly just slipped. Oh, good slowdown. Oh, and I already got the gem. That was easy. So now I just have to get out of here? Nope. Failed at that. Confused Crash Angel returns. Now the question is, do I still have the gem? I do. But are there any boxes in that secret area? I don't think so, but I don't know for sure, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna go have to go back, mate. These here are the most dangerous bees in the outback. One sting from them, and you'll go into an anaphylactic shock for two weeks and come out thinking you're an iguana. I'm gonna go poke one of their hives. Nope, I did the same thing again. I'll be safer in the air if I bounce on this guy. Nope. <sighs> Crocky, my Australian needs a little work. I like how Crash's hand is apparently invincible, just not the rest of him. I don't even know if I need to be here anymore. Get it! Fortunately, the rats spawn in the same place every time, making them very predictable. Okay, there we go. 
One down. bullets on top? There's one. Got a nice little mask friend. And there's buzz saws. That's cool. Okay. I guess there were not any boxes. I guess that was utterly unnecessary. So just the gem. Got it. Now where am I? No. No bees. Okay, so I've been here before. I guess. Oh god, they're still here! I thought they had to go back to the hive before they turned around. I guess they don't. Okay, so fortunately, it drops you off before the for the thing. I did not have to backtrack. I just lost my tiki mask for nothing. But that's okay. We can make this work. I got my purple gem. I'm gonna get my box gem. Well, that guy is dedicated. Spitting in one spot all day, every day. Nitros. Love the nitros. Lots of nitros. Never too many. And I just fucked all the fruit. I don't need fruit. I have 99 lives. 94 lives. Now, I don't actually know if, uh, if I blow up those nitros later with the uh, nitro switch if it'll blow up the box on top of boxes on top of them or not I would guess not but I don't know this game quite that well so not taking chances you having fun B where are you going nowhere that one was a very uh, dedicated bee. Nope. Damn it. And here we go. Oh, really? Without the old didgeridoo? Okay, bonus is taken care of. Just got to go through that whole end of the level again. Hey, that's great. We can do this. We're almost there. Gotta survive the nitro getting. 92. Okay, we're good. We made it. We got it all. I think that's the end of World 4, isn't it? This is the last level. I'll drink to that. And I think I have all the color gems. Position is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrus Brio. Oh no. Inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination. And he's at it again. He will attempt to attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. 
Minecraft. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to engine. Okay, so uh, throwing the old lab assistant under the bus there. Enbrio was the evil scientist. I was forced to assist in his research. Let me check. Do I have all the colored ones? I do. So I am going to do a quick sweep. Yeah, you're going up, Crash. And see what I missed in the previous world so we can just get those out of the way and taken care of. And you'll just, Engine will just have to wait for his crystals. Okay, World 1 is taken care of. World 2 is good. Oh, this slowdown, though. World 3. Oh, wow, are we good? Did I... I guess I didn't miss any. There was that one level with the red gem platform, the snow level, but I guess I went back to that immediately, so we're all caught up. All right. Onward. Tally-ho. What do you got for us, Igor? But why? Why don't you just wait until he has all 25? Oh, right, suddenly we can fire fruit, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Only for this fight, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't cost us any fruit. They just spawn and pop out. Crash got the hammer space fruit powers. And the fruits are powerful enough to damage robotics. What kind of metal are these mad scientists using that their robotics are weak to hedgehog quills and wumpa fruit? I guess that explains why they can build so many robots. They're using, like, an unimaginably cheap, like, synthetic metal. They have to be. Only the cheapest. Oh, this is hard to hit. Oh, aim what? You know what, this, you know what though? This reminds me an awful lot of that uh, Egg Hornet fight. You think there may have been some a little bit of creative inspiration between Sonic Team and these guys? Because this came out before Sonic Adventure 1. I think. I assume. That was on Dreamcast, and Dreamcast was PlayStation 2 generation, not PS1. Yeah, stand still. There we go. Okay, made it. Come on up, boy. Ow! Oh! Okay, it fires faster than I thought it did. And back to square one. Nope, not yet. Come on, sweetie. Drop off. Come on, flash him for me. Show me the goods. There we go. You know when I was a kid I thought Engin was a woman? I don't know why. I think it was because his voice kind of sounded like Frieza to me. I'm sure there's a much better strategy to this than whatever it is I'm doing. It's one down. Yeah, show me your missiles. 
flash your vulnerability to me multiple times, and then stand still as I fire upon it. Damn it! Okay. Missile hits you, turn to ash. It doesn't explode or anything, it just, it's a laser missile. Not a very, uh, not a very rapid fire rate, unfortunately. And no auto-fire, either. Oh, and I actually, I can't slide. I don't have that move available to me. The circle button, which normally slides, also fires fruit, same as square. So I don't have the, I don't have the crouch jump. I'm trying all the buttons to see what, what does what. But nothing does anything except for moving, jumping, and square. Just a platform shooter. A weird 3D platform shooter. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, you can only get one hit off on these things per exposure. I can. I'm sure speedrunners would uh, love to prove me wrong. Come on! Flash them for me. There we go. And I just miss a bunch. I tried to do the crouch jump there before re remembering that I did not have it. Oh, what? He fired another one? When? I, I didn't. I didn't see that part, guys. Wow, was I not paying attention? I guess. Angry Fist. I wonder what the curious anti-gravity device is supporting that thing. It doesn't appear to be on any kind of rocket boosters or anything. side. Oh, I got them both. Sweet. He didn't even have a chance to launch the side missiles. Okay, I can get about two shots in before fucking off. Oh, okay. Interesting strategy. Thank God the platforms come back up or I'd be fucked. It's a good thing this guy's an idiot. Oh. That was easy. Is he supposed to still be flying out into space? Wrath of Cortex? But that's not for several games yet. Like, his, his the little engine guy disappeared as he was flying off. I think he was supposed to keep flying out. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. Still putting his faith in me. Good guy, good guy Cortex. Right? Also, apparently, the, uh, the thing they used to turn the animals into mutants was the Evolvo Ray, not the Cortex Vortex. So I don't know what the hell the Cortex Vortex is. Some kind of super weapon? Maybe it was mentioned in the game's manual? Maybe I have to start posting PDFs of game manuals before my streams for story context? Alright, piston it away. Into the future! We're in the Cortex Lab levels. 
I assume. Yeah, it's got the Neocortex symbol. Okay. So, Cortex had the remaining five crystals in his possession already? Is he asking me to go collect them from his own laboratory? Maybe this is Embryo's lab? Maybe that's the explanation? Maybe we're stealing them from him? I don't know. Who needs games for stories, right? As long as I can bounce on crates in a futuristic environment and kill robots with a slap-happy spinning bandicoot, I'm good. It's all I need. Oh, God. I knew there were going to be have ones that changed modes. I thought it'd come a little later than that. See, these guys were the ones I finally figured out you could slide them. Because they, uh, they looked damageable at the bottom. And not spiky. Nope, oh, I'm gonna wait that out. There we go. Get me a crystal. Get me a mask. Kill me a robot. Oh, and lose the mask right away. Okay. This might have been, uh, this might be the dick level. We'll see. I see crates. There are crates on the skull platform. Oh, and it's gone. See, I think the skull platform goes to a different exit, so I need to backtrack one of the paths, and I think this is the one. I just killed a person. And dead. Okay, so I need to either backtrack the skull platform... But no, I can't backtrack the skull platform, because the skull platform vanished. So once you go there, there's no going back. Okay. So I guess I'll go this way. Yep, this is the one. This is the one. This nasty piece of work of a level. So don't get hit by those things. They are uh, shrink rays. Nope, this cor it's got Cortex's face on it. I, I am getting the crystals from his own lab. He already had the other five. He just didn't want to bother going around his lab to p get them. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back. I am. I should have left one of those boxes, damn it. I may be fucked. Okay, I had a mask. Whatever. Just take the hit crash. Yeah, they didn't have the outlines there. So another kind of dick move. Yeah, I should have left one of the boxes to uh, bounce over the dynamite with the nitro. I was thinking that as I was passing them, but then I was like, oh, why would I need to go back? This is a bonus level. I don't need to backtrack. But I did need to backtrack because they are that big of dicks. And almost max lives again, up to 95, doing good. This is the part. This sucks. I needed a mask. I hope there's a mask coming up. There's a life. But I don't need lives. I need a way to get back across that... Uh, That string of four shrink ray platforms. Okay, so I don't have all the boxes, but that's okay.
or would be if I had a mask. I might have to just die until I get a pity mask if I can't uh, luck my way past this bullshit. Now this here. Oh, how are we going to do this? I made it! Oh, somehow I did it! Oh, that is so hard to do in one try. Okay, the exit platform expanded to cover the whole gap. That's neat. That is so easy to fuck up. And then you gotta keep this guy alive in order to bounce back. Oh, this is a very involved level. I can't believe I did that jump in one try. That never happens. I'm having a good I'm having a good run. This is definitely gonna be a two stream game. Kill the guy again. Feels kind of good killing. Okay, more uh, flat ones. And I guess they can float. Who knew? Uh oh, I fucked up. Yep. Thank God for checkpoints, even on skull, pla skull paths. That's cool slowdown. It's a cool effect. It's a feature. There we go. Gem, get. And I fucked up again. That's okay. We got lives to spare. Lives to burn. And there's the nitro. Gem. Gem! Alright, we did it. Now, I wanted to say, no, that wasn't the hardest one. That was a mild, a somewhat difficult gem to get because of the backtracking. Especially that one dick part of the backtracking, but we pulled it out. Good uh, thumbnail there. Rocket! You'll never guess what this level's about. It's about rockets! Kind of. Jetpack rockets. And I've had a history of trouble with these ones, or one of them at least, trying to get all the crates because there was one that I'd always miss. And I never figured out where specifically that one was. I just kept going through the level over and over again, thinking I got every crate each time. Until I finally did. So, I don't know. I'll just have to be uh, good and thorough, I guess. Bandicoots on jetpacks. What's the world coming to? I like how Crash just knows instinctively how to use these things. Just anything he finds in his adventures. Maybe it's just all the time spent in Cortex's lab. Aside from the pizzicato, that's another distinctive part of the Crash soundtracks, is they have a sort of beach-like bass line in a lot of the songs. Like, listen to this, it's a little Beach Boysy.
Now, I don't know if those guys are posited to be, like, actually androids, or if they actually just are, like, random lab assistants that I'm sending to their, uh, sending to their demise. I mean, these ones are obviously cyborgs, but... Most of them do not have signs of robotic anything. Okay, what do we got? Are we good? 39. We're good. Okay. We did it. Moving through this at a nice, brisk pace. Honestly, the World 4 worlds are on average harder than the World 5 ones, I would say. Except for this fucker. This one right here. Night fight. If I'm remembering right, this is the hardest box gem in the game. It's either this or the level 27. The other bonus level. Which, for some reason, they made one of the bonus levels a bear level, which is great. Everyone loves the bear levels. They're the most fun levels in the game. And they made the other bonus level one of these fuckers. Because, you know, everyone loves low visibility levels. Especially when the only means of visibility are pickups, which are limited. So you actually cannot backtrack without being basically blind. You know, playing games with your eyes closed is always fun. And yet, even despite that, they put backtracking in this level. There it is, right there. There's the skull platform. Did you see that, boys? Oh, this is gonna be fun. And I probably needed that. Now, they did have the decency to put these guys, but even so. How little does this provide? Nothing. This is nothing. I'm gonna run into a pit. I should have I should have went on that skull platform first. Maybe because I passed by it, it'll still be there. I I'm going blind. Totally blind here. I know there's a pit around here. I think it's before these guys, not after. It was after. Alright, and now we see if uh, the skull platform remains. It does not. Okay. That's cool. Let's try this one more time. Maybe I can uh, hop on the skull platform and immediately off before it actually moves anywhere. And that'll... Set the flag. I'm trying to figure out the most uh, effective way to do this. Now they had levels like this in the first Crash Bandicoot game with the uh, tiki masks serving as your light. Okay, maybe that'll do it. But, I don't recall them making you backtrack in any of those levels, because that would be fucking stupid. Alright, here we go again. Here I go again in the dark. And pit. Okay. Well, now we see if the skull platform worked. It did. Sweet. Maybe I can move fast enough to hang on to this guy. Probably not. But we'll see. Nope.
Okay, so I know there's one right after these guys. Crystal get. And I'm gonna scout ahead, since now I can afford to die. Oh, okay, there's a bonus platform. Oh, there's still so much stuff. How much stuff is there? Okay, well, I got a checkpoint. I'm gonna be going ahead one more. Without, uh, thankfully, I've got lives to spare. Okay, well, here we are. Oh, and a timed bonus, too. That's cool. No, not timed. You just have the same Firefly mechanics as in the overworld. In the other Firefly level, it's timed. The Firefly auto-scrolls in the bonus. Okay, there we go. Now, I think even if I die, that bonus level is saved, which would be good. That would save time. And now, is there anything else ahead here? There's not. Okay, okay, that has wasted the fly. That ain't good. Oh, and then I died. Okay. Okay, so I need to get past this next part, get that one crate, just one little crate. Time that a little bit. Why can't that guy have a light on his head? How inconsiderate. Also unsafe. You gotta be very visible at nighttime, you know. Out for a walk. Wear reflective clothing. I'm just. No indication of where holes are. I'm just, uh. Slide jumping randomly and hoping I get lucky. And sometimes it works. Okay. Oh! I got lucky with the dude, but not with the hole. It's okay. I have 93 more attempts. 92 more attempts. And I got a pity mask. Not that that will help if I fall in a pit, but, you know, it'll help against that. Okay, one more pit. I made it. And bonus is done. Okay, I got the one box. Now I can use light and I gotta backtrack. Which actually is, I think, easier than going forward, just because I have the light. Even if I am minus a tiki mask. Now, I kinda wish... I was gonna say I kinda wish I saved a checkpoint, but no, I don't. I, I needed that checkpoint on the way here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, could I go through the skull platform and just backtrack to that one box? Since I know it is only one box. Now, if I could go ahead in the dark and get this, then come back and get the checkpoint again, that'd be fantastic, but I can't. I gotta do the entire backtracking of this route, as well as a portion or all of the skull path in one attempt. And with no mask now, so, uh, good luck me. Those guys are cool, you can't even see they're coming. How did I get... Okay, good good job, Mask. How did I get through that, like, pit layout the first time without any, uh, without any light? Oh, really? But it didn't blow up. 
What happened? What was that shit? Oh, that's stupid. God damn it. 89 more attempts. This is what all the lives in the game are for. 88 more attempts. So that's gonna... It's gonna be the Crash 2 video, is uh, all the other levels and then an hour of this level, right? That's how it's gonna go. Which would still not be as bad as that Donkey Kong Country 2 playthrough. Where we got stuck on one emulator bugged level for an entire stream of two hours or more. Oh! It's okay. I will, uh, I will remember these pit layouts in time. So there's one immediately after that guy. There's one immediately after that guy. Gonna have to deal with him on the way back. Immediately after. Okay. And there's one immediately before that guy? I, I, don't, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna get this one box. And then... I'm gonna get the check. That was a checkpoint. Wait, that wasn't a checkpoint before. Th this game gives you pity checkpoints? Okay. Right, I'll take it. Wasted that mask. And wasted my life. Just jumped right into him. Okay, so I guess there are certain boxes that will turn into checkpoints if you're doing badly enough. Which, I'm all for. I do not mind a little pity to get through this awful abomination of a level. And he's still here. Oh, I, tr I juked him twice. Okay, so I still... Hasn't... It's been made a little bit easier for me. I still have to backtrack this entire route in one go and do a portion of the skull route. Oh, come on! Here we go. That. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, I'm gonna have to do part of the skull route without any light, too. That's pretty neato. Isn't that a neat feature, guys? It's a cool feature. So I'm really gonna have to book it for that last light. And three guys here. Another guy moving back and forth after these pits. Nope. Couldn't even remember that right. Okay. This is my last... Oh, come on! Well, wasted my skull light. Not gonna have that. Stay with me, buddy. I need you. No, and he left. I'm, a, I'm gonna ride the side of the level. That's my key to victory. I just gotta walk on here, or you're not supposed to be walking. Okay, I have light again. I'm at the point. I'm at the point of the level where I can play it as intended. Huzzah! And I have a mask. I'm doing good. Okay, the worst is past. What if there weren't any boxes on this side? What if I misremembered? Had to be. Yeah, of course there are boxes. Otherwise, this wouldn't be the hardest gem in the game. Yeah, if you go through the other side and only the other side, you come up short by two boxes. And, oh, there's no skull platform. So I guess you can just, uh, you don't have to back backtrack that other entire route. You can just backtrack two pit jumps. Granted, it would still be annoying because you wouldn't have light, I don't think. So, uh, I mean, whatever. Even without all that backtracking I did, I'd still say this is the hardest gem in the game. Oh, 
seemed like an unnecessary one at that point. Okay. Oh, just bathe in it. Bathe in it. Oh, that looks, uh... The way those those gems and crystal are set up looks a little, uh, suggestive. I think. In fact... Is there a way that I can stand up closer? No? I guess not. I think I'd have to be at the very start of the level. I was trying to get them near Crash's pants. Oh, it's a cool noise. What was that noise? Was that the gem noise? Go ahead and uh, save the fuck out of that. Oh yeah, that save. Good save. So that was Crash 2. We're done. It's all downhill from here, folks. Pack attack. Let's take, take care of this. It's just tedium at this point. It's just, you know, like doing chores. Okay, I say that, but I think the other night level can also be a bit a bit of a bastard for the box gem. I don't remember why specifically. I don't think it involves backtracking, but I guess we'll see when we get there. Maybe it does. Maybe they're both horrible. This was a box that I missed a lot because it blended in with the fruit. Maybe that was the one? Hello, friend. You want a hug? Let's hug. That's a, that's a good looking death. Basically, like being sent to the sun, right? That makes me want to watch more DBZ. The mention of sending people into the sun. Me and a Jack are uh, currently in the middle of our watch through. As you may have figured during our conversations in other streams, we're in the middle of the uh, Boo Saga. Almost done with the series. And I love the Boo Saga. The Boo Saga is fun. I don't know why people... Some fans have a problem with the Boo Saga. That was way more interesting than the Cell Saga, which got very samey and repetitive. It was DBZ at its most DBZ was the Cell Saga, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Boo Saga was fun. Like Crash Bandicoot, he's fun. He's a fun mascot. Why can't people have fun anymore? Everything's gotta be all serious. We gotta have Infamous and Nathan Drake. I miss Crash Bandicoot. I miss Ratchet and Clank. God damn it. When can platform when can mascots make a comeback? Motherfucker, it happened. Alright. We're gonna have to come back again. And we're gonna have to keep coming back until we happen to get that last box, wherever it is. Let's try again. Ah. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Nope. Don't see anything around here. Nothing yet. I got these three boxes. These ones were accounted for. guy? Pretty sure I got that guy. I think I did. Why are, why are there fruit floating on the top of my screen and moving with me that I can't collect? That's, that's a cool bug. 
Is that part of my Wump account? Is it 71 plus 2? Now it's just 2. Now it's 72 plus 2. Interesting. I got this guy, and I'm pretty sure I got that guy. Are those two Wumpa Fruit the box I missed? Are they going to get me the, the gem at the very end? That'd be cool. I'd, I'd welcome their inclusion if they do. Melt some guy in the sun again. Some poor sap came to replace the former guy. Wasn't told what happened to him. But now he knows. Now he knows. Pass him around here. guys before. I'm sure to someone out there, the box I missed is really, really obvious, and they were yelling at me the whole time. You idiot! You missed that box! It's right there! How can you miss it? And... I got that guy there. That's not new. Just gonna be really sure and double check. No, nothing here. A lot of these guys have to do with just uh, hitting them between their attacks to knock them into something. Like, I guess Crash's spin is not powerful enough to kill humans by itself. Except the hammer guys, it killed them okay. What an interesting inconsistency. Uh, nothing here. Nothing around here. Nothing in that group of nitros. They're just floating there to float there. Anything down here? Nothing. Oh, I got this fella already. Are there any other fellas? No. Nothing. Almost nitroed myself, but I didn't. Nothing around here. I'm still gonna be one short. I know it. It's gonna be somewhere, and I'm just not gonna know where. Made it past there. 17. Did I have 17 last time? Only 17, really? Okay. Well, as far as I'm aware, I did everything exactly the same both times, but I guess I didn't. No idea what one I missed, but thankfully it only took two tries. So, I can make peace with that. I can accept two. And we're on to the last standard level. Not counting the secret level, which we'll do after the final boss. You'll never guess who it is. It's a rematch with Papu Papu Papu. He's the real final boss. They real they really throw a curveball at the end there. I was expecting Cortex. That old uh, damaging platform there. Ain't no one got time for jumping on boxes. Be safe and kill that guy. And there's a gem path that I'm gonna guess doesn't have boxes on it. I'm gonna do it first to be sure. And if it does have boxes, then this is going to involve backtracking too, but I don't think it does. So, oh, I need lives. Yeah, bad. I say sarcastically. So this is just a gauntlet of uh, all the colored gems. Basically to replace the uh, Great Hall in the previous game. Okay, mask saved me. So you need all five color gems to make it through this portion. Otherwise you reach a dead end. And Crash kills himself. That's how that goes. 
Nope, not making that elevator. How about this time? There we go, with extra slowdown for good measure. You know, that scream, when people talked about the Wilhelm scream, I always thought that was what they were talking about. Because it's not just used in Crash Bandicoot, that scream is everywhere, it seems so iconic to me, but... No, I eventually found out what the Wilhelm scream was, and I was mildly disappointed, because I actually like this scream better. I gotta find the uh, soundbite of it, for my personal use. You know what? I don't think we've used either that or the Wilhelm in Bleacher Bridge. We haven't used any screams in Bleacher Bridge. we got to change that. I guess the only th things that have been killed so far are hollows. we got to have some uh, civilians dying or something. Have a reason to uh, Wilhelm it up. Okay, so no backtracking. That makes this a much easier level to digest. Get me a free life. I will take free lives. I am down with that. This is a uh, fairly typical, just somewhat challenging final level of the game. The only special thing about it, gem-wise, is that gauntlet of five colored gems. So yeah, the other, uh, the other Cortex Lab one was harder because of the backtracking. You know what this music reminds me of? That, uh, that wah-wah effect that's going on in the background reminds me of, uh, Bomberman Hero. Another game that we gotta play at some point. I grew up with that one. The one, uh, Bomberman platformer, and also, for unfortunately, the only Bomberman game that I really like myself. I wasn't really, I'm not a, really a fan of the, uh, co-op puzzle kind of Bomberman gameplay. Which I know is a terrible abomination of a thing for me to say because that's where Bomberman started. That's the OG original Bomberman. That's like not liking 2D Mario. How could you? But nope, I just, I like Bomberman Hero. Just like to platform as a guy running around throwing bombs. And I'm still, uh, if I could have one, per one character in Smash Brothers. It would probably be, uh, well, one third-party character. It would be Bomberman. I would love to see him in the game. And if it were one Nintendo character, and it couldn't be Waluigi, it would be K. Rule. You know. I'm boring. It's just, it's the characters that everyone wants in Smash Brothers, lady. I think I'm the only one who really wants Bomberman, but, uh... A lot of folks. A lot of folks want Waluigi and K. Rule. Those are two of the highest demand characters, I think. And for some reason, Geno from Mario RPG. Never got that. I didn't think Mario RPG had that strong a following. Like, I know it has fans, but not enough to beat out, like, K. Rule and Waluigi for, uh, fan demand. I get maybe it doesn't beat them out. I mean, uh, they made me outfits, me outfit gear for Geno 
I don't remember if they did that for... I think they might have done it for K. Rule as well. And Waluigi's obviously an assist trophy, so he has his, uh, his presence in the game. And, you know, obviously. If they could happen... Crash and Spire would be amazing in Smash Brothers, but, uh... They weren't even allowed in PlayStation All-Stars, so, you know... That thar would be a pipe dream if ever I've heard one. You can expect uh, Crash and Spyro in Smash Brothers about as soon as you can expect Goku. You know what, that's an exaggeration. It's unlikely, but it is theoretically possible that Crash or Spyro could happen. Since they're not actually owned by Sony, they're owned by Activision right now. Just for style. Alright. That's that. Last level done. 99 lives. I think we can take out Cortex. I mean Papu Papu in 99 lives, don't you? I'm feeling good about this. Alright, prepare yourselves. Give us the laugh. Give us the laugh! <laughs> Best villain yeah. laugh. My plan is nearly complete, and I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for. Engine? What's happening? What's that? Is he stealing our signal? And that will do. Oh, zombies. Okay. I've noticed that they get messages are always cut off to some to varying degrees. And I don't know if that has to do with uh, if part of that is intentional or part of it is just the way that the disc or in this case ISO is read because I've noticed as my crash discs get older the messages get cut off more and more and desynced with the hologram. Oh, by the way, we're fighting Cortex now. On a jetpack. So that's all it is, it's a chase. Just avoid asteroids. Catch up to the little man and spin him out. Oh, and avoid bombs. Bombs will, bombs are bad. You can spin asteroids, you cannot spin bombs. And so it's just catch up to him before you reach the end of the big tube. Not really a fight so much as it is a ch I already lost. And for some reason he stops. I think I already lost. Maybe you're allowed one bomb. And I hit two bombs. Oh wow, yeah, that is short. Whoa! Yeah, not the best final boss fight in the world. I'm not crazy about it. Crash 1 had more of a uh, actual boss fight. And already lost. It is... Granted, it is pretty unforgiving, a boss fight. It's hard to tell when the depth is just enough that you're able to actually attack him. Maybe it's just about taking the corners on the inside. Maybe I'm just, like, not doing this right. Maybe I've never done it right. Two hits, and I hit a meteor. Asteroid. So, looking like that's probably it for Earth. 
except he's very politely going to stop and wait for me, and then I hit a bomb. Okay, and then my phone goes off, and I keep waiting, Cortex. Wait, stand by for me. Yeah, okay, uh... Yes. Oh, no, we haven't. We've just seen the last uh, competent version of you. Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. That's a good question. What did happen to Cortex? Like, presumably, I blew up his jetpack. Did he fall? All the way down to Earth again? And survive that somehow? I'll have to remember how Crash 3 starts. Actually, okay, Morgan. Just Morgan. I don't remember how exactly Crash 3 starts, other than that we get introduced to, uh... The bi secret big bad who is actually be behind Cortex's actions all along. Which kind of weakens Cortex forever after that point. Kind of invalidates, like, the, these two games, Crash 1 and 2, as well. Honestly, I liked, it, I liked it more when Cortex was the big bad. And he kind of just gradually turned into a joke after that point. Still, gameplay-wise, I still defend Crash 2 as the best Crash game. It's my favorite. So, after the uh, credits finish their rolling... Actually, can we skip this at all? I don't think we can. Nope, you're gonna have to wait this out, and then I will get that last gem. And we'll see the uh, real, secret, true ending. Which, I promise, is way better than the secret 100% ending to Jack and Daxter, the first one. That was a slap in the face, that one. Not worth 100% at all. Clancy Brown, Brendan O'Brien, and Vicky... Vicky Winters? Okay, I guess it's a lady doing Crash's voice. Who knew? Or was that Coco? Maybe that was Coco. So either Crash or Coco is not credited, one of the two. Also, I don't think Embryo was credited, was he? Maybe need to get the secret ending for that. And save. Okay, 99%, just one left to get. Alright, now what's the fastest way to get to the... Get to the warp room. I want to say it's air crash. Was it air crash? No, air crash is the one that you get dropped off in. So the actual, the warp level's in this one, right? Plant food, was it? Maybe. Uh... Okay, let's try it. What have I, got? I uh, I'm already getting a pity mask. You have that little faith in me, game, really? Damn it. Okay, maybe the pity mask was deserved. Maybe it was air crash. Or maybe there was one in uh, World 2 that I'm forgetting about. Yeah, let's pop back out of here. 
it would be nice if there was a way to just uh, warp straight to the to the secret warp room once you'd gained access to it. There we go. Good old ice warp. Oh, I didn't get a pity mask for this level. That was weird. Why did I get why did I get one for the previous level? Is it, be, is it after you die so many times on that level? Does the game keep track of that? I'm, conf I'm confused. Alright, and here we are. Where are we? We did totally bear. So now it's time for totally fly. Anyone else watch Totally Spies? No? Just me? Oh, this is a cool looking warp room. I didn't notice this last time. It's all like ancient ruins and shit. Alright, here we go. Last level in the game. It's one of these guys. Always fun. Never dull. I know there's a gimmick. I know there's... Okay. I know there's something fucky about this level. But I'm not remembering just yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna remember it. It's gonna remind me what that thing is, what the gimmick that makes this level hard is. And I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'm not gonna like it. Don't spin that guy, you'll get fucked. I think there is some backtracking involved. I think I'm gonna have to backtrack after a, po a degree of this. Like maybe they put a uh, activatable, like a triggerable hidden box at the very start of the level. Maybe I'm gonna come up one box short. Maybe that'll be it. Or maybe I'm just projecting my hatred for the other dark level and misremembering how bad this one is. I hope that's the case, I really do. Here's the auto scroll. There he goes. And he'll hang around for just a second. No, wait, I'm not ready yet. Oh no. Okay. Hope I didn't miss a box in the darkness there. Don't kill that guy too close. I remember. Okay. It's not that bad, but still kind of bad. Not nearly as bad as the other night level, but there are a bunch of these reinforced belly flop boxes along this path. So I'm gonna at least try to get a couple more of them. There's two. Oh, I got a bunch. And then I remember there are some just fruit on the ground to let you know when you're about to reach a pit. So, small graces. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I actually got all of them. Okay. That worked out way better than it usually does. Just minor nuisance. And there's even another light close by to accommodate for the time spent on belly flopping boxes. And that was the whole level, okay. No, not nearly as bad as I was thinking. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Now we go see the true final ending with 99 lives. Because this game is for babies.
It's okay. We'll get to much harder to complete games from in, from Naughty Dog with Jack. <laughs> you have acquired all of the gems. Everyone. Incredible. <laughs> Crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. Right. <laughs> the gems have that ability as well, and with them, I can destroy the cortex vortex. Forever. <laughs> what is with eyebrows in these characters? Let me walk you to my completed laser installation. Hmm. All right, let's go fire a laser at a space station. That seems like a good a as a way as any to uh. And oh, there's an, it's still just still a gem floating up there. Okay, I've never noticed that glitch before. I is that an emulator thing or does that happen on the PlayStation as well? is when you get a gem for one of the bonus levels it uh... it floats up and it just sits there at the top of the warp room is it gonna be there if I go back down again? no but- oh there it is! yeah it's still there! so is it- do they just float there forever? did they think they'd be off screen there? Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's go blow up a space station. All the gems are perfectly aligned. Everything said. You won't believe how long it took to stack these gems so perfectly that they're balanced on top of each other like that. Real man hours. For this. We are ready, Crash. Would you like to do the <laughs> honors? <laughs> you see, it's funny because you can actually get all the gems before ever fighting Cortex. So, uh,. You can just do that. Never face the final boss. Get all the gems, go up there, and just fire a laser at the space station so uh, Cortex and Engin will just go hurtling out into space without any idea what happened to them. And then we get more credits. Now I tried to skip these, but I am curious if uh, maybe this lists Embryo's voice actor. Maybe it assumed that you, would, you wouldn't necessarily... Like, maybe it thought you could go through the entire game and never get a single gem, so you'd never hear Embryo. So maybe they'd only put his voice actor in the uh, gem credits. Wasn't this just the first level music, by the way? I don't think this is a special track just for the credits. It'd be nice if it were. Yeah, this is just first let David Bowery. Not Bowie, Bowery. My brother was actually a game tester for uh, quite a while. I don't know if it was around, I don't think he was in it around this era. I think he was a little bit after. More PS2 kind of. There we go. En oh, Embryo and Engine. Okay. So he is listed. Brendan O'Brien. Coco Bandicoot. <laughs> Why are you laughing? How are you laughing? You're in the vacuum of space, Cortex. Okay. Well, see you next game, Cortex. And, uh, see you next game, audience. That was, uh, Crash 2. I've given my spiel on it by now. Love the game. And I think I will save Crash 3 for after I get Jack through Spyro 2. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you next time.